They don't get the better on the inside. They're on the back straight, they go. Dave Mears is going to be here. Race one. The man from Kent down there near Canterbury. A lot of years to his credit, and here he comes. 139 David Mears from Mark Chilman. Jamie Rogers and Dave Durham side by side. Then Danny Stanton. on that throttle. Comes down this straight, there's the last lap flag, it's one more lap to go, but Jamie Rogers is closing the gap. Mark Chilman has dropped down to third. Danny Stanton comes faster, Dave Durham as Dave Durham's bike smokes and slows badly. Dave Mears is leading down the back Jamie Rogers, he looks that little bit faster as he comes into the last turn. It's now or never for the the checkered flag comes down, and Jamie Rogers has come through on the inside, and Jamie Rogers takes the win. Dave Mears in second, Mark Chilman in third, then it's Danny Stanton. second place. Well, looks like Alan Rossiter coming through there, Jonathan Sims uh, making a move as well, but meanwhile as we look across to our lap, number 16 it is, it's Dean Garten, the Cornishman Rahel, leading Rob Fortune, leading Paul Hurry, and Tony Atkin and Jonathan Sims battling away for that fifth place, or fourth and fifth places, but on the far side then it's yet another one of these very quick young Cornishmen, Dean Garten, holding off Rob Fortune, who Lives up uh, by Long Eaton Road Speedway for quite a lot of course. And he's under pressure because it's Paul Hurry. Paul Hurry who has such a good Sussex Super looking to come through. Sitting in third place, going after Rob Fortune. Can he make up the ground? Meanwhile out in front it's Dean Garten, number 16 who leads. Rob Fortune still in there in second place. And the challenge coming from Paul Hurry immediately on his elbow. So the last lap flag goes out this time, it's still Dean Garton, it's still Rob Fortune, it's still Paul Hurry. And back a little way to Tony Atkin and then Jonathan Sims. Then behind him, number 14, Ricky Stanford. So that leading three, they pulled right away now from the opposition. Are we going to see any changes? One more third to go, Rob Fortune closes up on the leader, but that leader, Dean Garton, still has that meter or two's advantage. Dean Garton comes wide, Fortune looks for the inside, who's going to get there? It's Fortune, it's Rob Fortune who wins. Dean Garton in second place, Paul Hurry in third. In fourth place is Tony Atkin, in fifth place Jonathan Sims, in sixth place Duncan Tolhurst, and in seventh place Ricky Sanford. Back 
Race number two, the British Masters for 2016 team. They all get away this time. Scott Nickel, not particularly quick away after being allowed in the region off. And it is um, a new opportunity. They climb the banking for the first time. with Steve Boxall making a move from the inside. Gets inside Appleton. Appleton comes back along. Signing down in the back straight once again. This Boxall leads them. When Appleton in second looks like Cooper gone through into that third place position. He have stolen the march on the remainder of the field. This Boxall leads them from Appleton holding the second. Cooper trying to chase after Appleton. Looking for second place around Rapper, the baby's in four, Hickmott is in five, New it in six, at the top six they go, then the back straight once again, Paul Cooper on, got through on the into Rapper, and Rapper and just holding him at bay, and that's where in box all to pull away the front, is box all the leader, then Appleton holding that second place position, again Cooper trying to squeeze some inside Appleton, but Appleton just by hanging on to that second place, there's box all the leader, Appleton in second, Cooper comes along to Appleton again, but Appleton's quicker going down that back straight, and retakes the second place position, as all the time Boxall starting to pull away the front then from Appleton second Cooper using every inch of track taking a real wide line coming down the bank and he's lost out with that movement as Boxall leader Boxall I think is slowing up at the front Boxall seems to be slowing up at the front Appleton's right there with him now as they go to the back straight once again Boxall to me seems to have too little power going down that back straight Appleton's almost alongside him and Cooper's trying to close the gap now as they go into the pits corner for the full time Appleton gets inside Boxall can Boxall come again back up the inside Appleton gets when he arrives, Steve Boxall gets a second, Paul Cooper is in third, Mark Baysby is in fourth, Robert Hickmoth is in five, Jason Newitt in sixth place, and I'm sure that Steve Boxall, who at one time was way, way clear the front, seemed to be slowing up on that third lap.
That's just some of the rides in this one. The start could be absolutely crucial for changes from Wills up in front of the, as Richard all leads in a box all in second. Cooper in turn changes back in fourth place and moment back in fifth place. As they go to the back straight once again then. It's Hall who leads them but box all in second. Cooper's got the third. Changes up to fourth place. Walker is in five. Hitmon is in six. That's a top six. It looks like Boxall's got machine problem. See Boxall's pulled out as Hall leads them. And Cooper in second chains up the third Walker in four. And Steve Boxall's coasting with a sick by drop in place after place after place. It's all clear. Going down that back straight then. Changes now up to second place for Cooper in third. Will change Chase Hall or will be content with the second place pitching as Hall leads can put in lap two and change holding that second. Cooper does for the points and got the third. Walker is in four. Hickmott is in five. Steve Boxall finally pulls out the back and Jane Chain is starting to close up on Richard Hall. He's not going to ride for safe second place. He looks if he wants a victory this time then coming down up fifth corner banking Hall's gone wide Shane's takes so much tunnel line Richard Hall's gone wide right in the loose and Jane Shane's at the front Shane's has come from fourth to first Hall trying to come back through on the inside as Shane's leads up and Hall in second is Cooper in third so James Shane's will remain the only unbeaten rider off the three legs of the solo masters tremendous ride by James Shane's he hurried Hall into the mistake coming down that bank and Shane's gets a winning ride second is Richard Hall third is Paul Cooper Fourth is uh, Callum Walker. Tapes fly, the solos are on their way down the back straight. By like Chris Bomber Harris, they got the best of it down that straight, but he's uh, slipped a little peg or two as he comes around the corner. It is number eight though, Chris Harris is coming out first turn first. We've got Richard Smith on his inside. We've got Jason Handy trying to go around the outside. Richard Smith has made it through, but uh, Bomber Harris cuts back and comes through on the inside. And he's back Jason Handley. Sideways action and here they come. Number eight, Chris Harris. 33, Richard Smith hasn't given up one inch. He's still right in there. He goes through on the inside again. Chris Harris takes the wide line, gets the speed up, tries to take it back on the inside and through he goes on that straight. Chris Harris. And it's Jason Anthony. Jason Anthony giving Richard Smith a hard time there. As they come round, they'll see the last lap flag in front of them. It's all systems go. Chris Harris, Richard Smith, Jason Handley. Richard Smith again on the inside there, but Chris Harris takes a slightly tighter line and he comes out of that turn first. Richard Smith in second place. Jason Handley goes Richard Smith. Into the last turn they go. Jason Handley comes through on the inside of Richard Smith. He closes the gap now on Chris Harris. Here they come for the finish. It's going to be Chris Harris that takes it. Jason Handley in second. Richard Smith in third. Jamie Rogers in fourth. Gareth Hickman in fifth. Second place. Bobby Cox in 
Let's be the win. Jerry Doncaster in second place. In third place is Marvin Cox.